Hey, here comes all the stuff I explained in the last video. Did we introduce ourselves in the last video? No, but I mean, if you're listening to the to the stuff anyway, huh? Okay, fine, whatever. Hi, I'm K1 Zombie. <laughs> Do we need to? We're all famous. <laughs> LP famous, yes. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Yeah, the, the, the rumor is that he is Merlin, but it's never 100% confirmed. The rebellion. Hmm. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue. So what, like a, a full-fledged English rebellion here? Not just some random anarchists blowing up buildings? Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, I think it's a rebellion mostly against the not East India Trade Company. It's it's called something else, but that's clearly what it's an analog to. Even I'm pretty though... sure the East India Company lost its trademark by now. Yeah, that's it's. They call it something else, um, but I think it's supposed to be like an offshoot or or like just some sort of alternate history where it didn't lose its trademark by this point because i did look up um history to see if this company actually existed and the answer is no here's, here's a big hot spoiler for you the final boss is actually the radioactive zombie of oliver cromwell <gasps> oh man sorry <laughs> I can't believe you can bleep that you can bleep that okay. i wow. couldn't hold it back <laughs> that does not mean to question sir percival's loyalty this order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. So, who are the Yahoos in the galleys? I don't know. It's the right lordly order of the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> They just might be invested nobles, because this guy runs whatever the East India Trade Company XP is. Very well. I'd be interested, too, if a bunch of yahoos were running a paramilitary order out of the Palace of Westminster. <laughs> Where did they even get the round table? The thing's fictitious. Well, obviously they built a different one. Son yeah, of come on, Skippy. Biscuit. And they must have bought it recently because it looks Victorian. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody said it had to be the original round table, just that it had to be round and big enough for, to seat everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Bunch of posers. These guys are worse than the Shriners. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of this? It's not like it's the Rock of the What's It. You know, the one that's supposed to be in Scotland, but underneath the throne. The, the Blarney this, Stone? The Stone of Scone. That one, yeah. Yeah, the comfortable coronation seat. Who are you to question? Worn smooth with the ass grooves of monarchs. Lord Chancellor. Yeah, now we know where all the money went that should have gone to the dungeon. <laughs> it all went to the table. Well, and to the importing the marble. Oh, that too. I have a more pressing matter to attend, as you wish. How many of us will make the journey? What's with the steel bid, anyway? I mean, that's not the only time I've seen it, but what is with that? <sighs> I'm not entirely sure. I think it just might be to signify who he is in the order. Though why they don't all have it. Oh, wait, no, they might all have it. Who knows? Well, the one guy's got a little metal around his neck. That seems like it would be more convenient. Yeah. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure. You are the Knight Commander! Yeah, it's a real shame they couldn't have fully textured those, uh... Think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is... The, um... I consider it an acceptable the risk. One for which chainmail pauldrons. Full responsibility should oh, yeah. They're, like, painfully flat in these close-ups. No yeah. 
Listen, like, the game looks amazing and runs as smoothly as it does. They had to probably cut corners somewhere. And I think that cutting corners on a thing you're not going to zoom up too closely on too much is acceptable. Well, yeah, but they should do that with the legs, not with something at shoulder height. Well, yeah. Most excellent. And so, and is on half the characters. When do we <laughs> You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabel, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a marquee? Sir Lucan and Lady. So is he an ally of the knights or is he actively a uh, member? He is he is Percival's squire, essentially. The humanity he lost. He is next in line to become Percival should Percival die. Huh. Regardless. And they chose a Frenchman for that because we need to hurry. We must avec plaisir. Monsieur. Not only that, but uh hang on. Nope. Nope, I'm thinking of a different guy. I'm pretty sure Lafayette was a general who fought with the Americans in the... Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, they did say that he was more American than French. Maybe he was did go over there and then came over back. And, yeah, but that was like a hundred years before? Maybe just a similar name. Look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep it. Mu it must just be a similar name because I don't think he's got the uh, Holy Grail juice yet because he's only a squire. Hmm. Although, if that's the case, then why would he have the American connection? I don't know. Oh. Maybe he was just trying to insult him. Well, and there's Tesla. Yep. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Why are you only wearing one glove? I've literally never noticed this before. <laughs> Where's your mustache? Yeah, no kidding. Any further news? He looks so young. In Grosvenor Square. Yeah, he wasn't this young in 86, was he? And investigating. Hang on. Lycans. On the United India Company's front doorstep. What you United mean? India Company, there we go. That's the East India Company XP. Okay, born in 1856. So he would have been 30. So in this he would have been 30. Scene. Yeah. Meanwhile, take a look around. He still looks a little young for 30. Yeah. But do be careful. He's also not nearly obsessive compulsive enough. Yeah. <laughs> He's not measuring like the the circumference of all the door knobs. And apparently it should be a Croatian accent, not Serbian. How fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I. Ah, there we are. Okay. Mm-hmm. The man is an idiot. Yep, I told you it comes up, and I think that's pretty much the only time it comes up, which is good that they don't, like, center his entire character on, Grr, I hate Edison! Even though his entire personality was pretty much centered on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. It's just that, um, actually it should be, because this is when the War of the Currents was happening. And, I mean... Edison, reportedly, was just a prodigy at being a cock to people. He was, apparently. More gibberish to me. So, Nikola Tesla is basically your cue. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Apparently he went to a girly show and, uh... Drew diagrams while he was there. <laughs> On the back of it, yeah. A Sir Galahad. I'm pretty sure I recognize that voice actor too. Please, this way. Can't place where else I've heard him, but I know that voice. Something you may find I don't recognize it, but I tend not to recognize a lot of famous people when I hear their voice, because I'm bad at that. 
quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Also, it wasn't his uh, alternating current. Of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier. It's like he invented a better version of it. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. And then took all the credit for it because that's what Edison did. Tube is a small quantity of mercury. Somebody invented the light bulb. I invented the better light bulb, and now I invented the light bulb. Please try it. First of all, I invented the patent office, and then I patented it. <laughs> uh, the hacking mini game. Yeah, the hacking mini game in Order eighteen eighty six. It's mm, it's a game. <laughs> And try to bring it back in one piece, double air seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that Wait, is are we going to get an Aston Martin? S684 <laughs> Marksman Carbine. Impressive. With a pointlessly long scope. I've mm -hmm. With a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long range shooting. I would be honored if. Uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. First, I had to wiggle it around a bit. As an electrical engineer, clearly I am most qualified to create guns. As a pacifist, I clearly would invent all these guns. Well, he was a pacifist, but then he heard about the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> Your skills never cease to amaze me. Uh, the, the sights should have been wrong. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. Especially since you don't get it in the next level, so it could have been like this cool little thing where he's like, oh, I have to work on it, and then you get it later, and it works. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? He calls his guns his children. That's creepy. Yeah, but I mean, so do I. <laughs> requested is over there on the table. Didn't I send you my photo Christmas card last year? <laughs> Just be lucky he hasn't named them yet. <laughs> There's Skippy Jr. and Blasty. <laughs> oh no, you gave him an idea. And, ah, my sentimental favorite, Homemaker. <laughs> Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Gala. Yeah, that's right. You want to be a strong, independent no, woman? No backup for you. Back. Let's see how strong and independent <laughs> you are. <laughs> One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. If you I don't die, need... it's your own fault. I don't need no man in an active firefight. <laughs> Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is... I should know about collaborators. <laughs> well, to be fair, this is like the, the first time in a hundred years that the, gover that the French government has been stable. Yeah, this is true. Stay vigilant, all of you. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for individual Frenchmen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can meet some girls. A nest of In this depressing slum, I'm sure there's at least one or two beauties. I knew it very differently once. Hey, you know that annoying thing video games like to do? You know, put a collectible behind you? <laughs> Offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before it's hidden under the horse's ass. I wish. Just gotta lift Don't up the tail. Don't have to walk as far. <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, this is a pointless extension of the map right here. Maybe they moved the horses like from where they originally Maybe. wanted to put them. The walk forward was too long, so we shortened it, but then the walk backward to get the collectibles is uh, a mile and a half. But that was um, the first automobile right there. Yeah. Like the very first... Mm -hmm. It's nice to see the uh, the genesis of Farfignugan. <laughs> Nothing is as it used to be, Sebastian. True. The order, least of all. 
cat's playing with a plastic bag in cases. My microphone is picking it up. Yeah, it's not, but a little special guest cat. <laughs> we rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. What does what does the cat think of werewolves? Um, depends on if she can eat them or not. Oh. <laughs> I got you a tiny werewolf, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> the ashes are still warm. And don't fall out when I tilt them. Oh, well, you're not supposed to pack them. Yeah, it uh, it, it takes a it takes a pretty good rap to uh, to knock the plug of tobacco out of a pipe. Let's kick his ass. <laughs> oh no, it's even more pointless than that. It's great. It's stupid and I love it. <laughs> Why are there a bunch of random apples here? I don't know. Maybe the guy's selling them? Yeah, well, that's the really? thing. <laughs> there aren't enough apples for selling them, but there are too many for someone to have bought them for a snack. That's somebody's basket of throwing apples is what it Why is. Why didn't you just sneak up to him and do this? Why did you have to throw the apple at him? Why do you have to knock him out anyway? Looked like he was just sort of hanging out there. Hey, you underpaid for the apple, Gov. <laughs> oh, so he was watching the the brawl, maybe? But if he was so concentrated on the brawl, then... Uh, They just wanted to show off their apples, didn't they? I think so. It's like how whenever Platinum Games does anything, they want to show off by destroying a watermelon. <laughs> in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, you can cut this watermelon into a million pieces. Was that guy relaxing in a coffin? <sighs> they're actually very comfy. <laughs> Not when they're just wood. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you gotta take a bed where you can make it in this depressing slum. It's just good manners. What if you die in the night? <laughs> At least you're already packaged and ready to go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in a black alaco mine while a captain. Well, that wouldn't have been hard. Guys kind of stick out like a sore thumb even when you're dressed in all black. Yeah, your clothes are way too fine for this slum. <laughs> yeah. Join our cause. She's dead because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the context of this fight. But fuck you anyway. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Dislocated his shoulder. And who says chivalry is dead? It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't She's know. Inside. Don't worry. You're safe now. Until this guy regains consciousness and we're not here to help you. Then you're fucked. Well, he won't be able to hit her with his... Which hand was it? The right one? Yep. We should head through this door. So that's something. Mm. I can only beat you half as fast. It's okay, she'll finish him off. She's actually a werewolf and she's gonna eat him. Oh, okay. She's gonna pan fry his sweetbreads. <laughs> so what's Mayfair? I'm not entirely sure. It's flavor.
Oh yeah, here's the lock picking mini game. What in the? What in the? I don't hell? know. Oh, I don't oh. know. This is a little bit lascivious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Any robots watching this? Put your kids to bed. <laughs> You know, funny story. Do you know why vibrators were invented? Uh, I I do because it's a it's a topic near and dear to me. But please, <laughs> yeah, explain for the viewer who might not. It's because the doctor's arms got tired. You leave it here. Bien sûr, Monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the code class. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a joke, but it's seriously true. At ease, monsieur. <laughs> Causing... Well, as any any man can tell you, you know, um, medical pelvic stimulation is a real chore. So he took our guns, but he didn't take our knives, machetes, whatever they are. I don't know. Are they long enough to be considered daggers, or? I think dagger just doesn't apply anymore to uh, weapons. Here's mm. the here's here's the breakdown. A dagger is is a double bladed knife. It's got two edges. Oh, that goes to a okay. point. That's a dagger. Also, the princess has fallen on very hard times. Clearly. Yes. <laughs> that was the cat. <laughs> Special guest cat. Oh, okay. Finally showed up. <laughs> Doing that cat thing where they just suddenly get really surprised and offended by something. Yeah, no, she just wants attention is what she wants. Oh, that's what your cat does? My cat just meows extremely loudly to the point where no matter where you are in the house, you can hear her. She's woken me up. <laughs> okay, cat, you're not going to rub your face on the microphone. <laughs> Wait, Lafayette... Is a veteran of the American Army. What? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what Lafayette's deal is. Yeah, I thought it was the French who had the uh, Foreign Legion. I mean, is because I. I know that the French fought with the Americans uh, in the War for Independence, but yeah. After that, I don't. I don't know how many actual Frenchmen. I mean, I guess Franklin was a big fan of French prostitutes, so... Yeah. Have to find a way out of here quickly. Well, if it Lafayette's is like the Lafayette, then that would make sense again. Yeah. But he can't be the Lafayette, because that's like a hundred years ago, and he's not immortal. Give it here, love. And more to the point, if he did fight in the Revolutionary War against the English... It would be pretty weird for him to join an English Order of Knights. Yeah. Like, even if they are friends... I'm pretty sure they were just like, what's a French name? Oh, Lafayette! Like, even if they are friends now, like, even in 1886, they were sort of allies. Um, I'm pretty sure there were any, they were enemies by the time the actual Lafayette died. Yeah. Oi! Here! What are you up to? You're in the wrong room! Where's the little frog gone? He's in there! With his friend! Oi! Get out of there! What the hell are they doing? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, oh they're trying to sneak out Hello. because the uh, the Indian woman spotted them. Oi! Oh. Oi! Pointless nudity! Hurrah! <laughs> What is this, HBO? So, obviously, this guy isn't a werewolf, because he isn't covering up his dong. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wow, there's dicks in this video game. <laughs> yeah. Also, how, how come he got to keep his gun? Um, That's a good point. Maybe it was hers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, back in the day, they actually did make, um, advertise guns for women, specifically for women. We have intruders. 
Get your weapon. Let's go. Lafayette. Ash. So what what set them apart? They, they wouldn't were, have been pink. No, they, they were smaller and they could, you know, fit in your uh, bodice. Oh, oh okay. a booby gun! Yeah, boob gun. Oh, <laughs> that's so spicy. <laughs> you know, they were those little one-shot pistols. What do you call them? Oh, yeah. Keep a lookout, Marquis. I gotta tell you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't catch any of my children becoming booby guns. <laughs> Just gotta go this way for a secret. You, you make sure they grow, they all grow up big and strong, huh? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. You know, some some good, some hard working, right thinking guns like a like an AR fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> That is a very good way to break your knife. It is. Oh. Oh, that's great. You found a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> Called the Anarchists yes. with a date on it. Well, yeah. if it's a jar of peanut butter, all we have to do is just slab that right on the werewolf's snout and he'll just be distracted. <laughs> <laughs> this is infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> but so tasty. Ah, oh, sons and daughters of Britain, <laughs> bread and peanut butter. 